Lucas here, back with another video. Now today I'm going to be reviewing the Lego Harry Potter Quidditch match set, which I got from the Lego store a few years, a few days back, um, a few years, one year back, sorry, not a few weeks, not a few months. But yeah, this has 500 pieces and six new figures. So let's take a look at the first one, which is Harry Potter in his Quidditch outfit, and you can see the figure himself is pretty cool. There you go, I got it to focus. He has a shocked expression there. And he has a broom, a, a brown broom, which I believe is the same from Quidditch 2010 set. And this time the guy has short legs, way back the other one, but no printing on the side, which is kind of disappointing, but oh well. He has a golden snitch, which is, comes in the minifigure series as well, but it's still nice to get it. You can see the back torso printing. The, by the way, the torso is the same as the one from All of the Wood, also the cape. and. You can see his alternate face right here, which has him more happy. And I also like how they give you enough space to show off the scar, which is a nice addition. But yeah, either way, that's it for the Harry Potter of the set. And yeah, he appears in like every set. So yeah, next is Oliver Wood, which yeah, I wish he had a new face print because his face print is super common from Lego Star Wars. Doesn't really look like him. I, I wish his legs were the mid legs in um, in a in a white. Which is nice. You can see the same torso as Harry, same cape as Harry, but this time his legs are the normal minifigure legs, and you can see no alternate face. Kind of wish he had a new alternate face, like maybe a screaming expression or a shock expression. You can see his hair piece right here, which is the Mutt Williams in a reddish brown. Oh jeez, I keep on dropping everything today, like always the stand, always drops. But uh, yeah, either way, next minifigure is Marcus Flint from the, I believe this was, he was in Chamber of Secrets as well actually. And it was like his last time appearance. And you can see his back printing, which he has the same one for Malfoy and Lucian Bowl. Speaking of which, he has the same cape as Lucian Bowl, same legs as Lucian Bowl, and Oliver Wood. He's probably my favorite besides Snape. I also like his hair piece, which is the wrong way the hair in black. They did use that for Queen and Sparable in the minifigure series, but he wasn't really that good of a figure. Um, his face print is really cool. I do wish he had an alternate face though. And his accessory is actually this, which is the which is the black broom with the quaffle shooter, which we'll show that later in the video. And yeah. Either way, that's it. Next minifigure is Lucian Bowl. Now I'm going to get Marcus Flynn out of there. Jeez, I think I took off part of the stand. <laughs> but either way, next is Lucian Bowl with a pretty cool um, broom right there. The, green, the black broom, not green broom. The green broom. I believe it's the black, the black broom. They did use it with someone else. So yeah, I have to fix up the stand a bit. I have to be stolen, so if the editor is pretty bad. But so yeah, he's a really great figure. I like him a lot. His face print, the front face it doesn't look like him, but the back face looks a lot like Lucian Bowl. Like uh, it's really accurate to the scene where Harry like bumps him, and smashes him with his broom. And speaking of which, he does have a broom as well and a bat as an accessory. As well, you can see the same back print as well. Now, moving on to the next minifigure, which is a slither, another slithering member. Jesus, it's not a falling stand, but yeah, sheesh, I'm going a bit too long. Either way, next minifigure is Snape, which is a pretty cool figure. I like the, the hairpiece as well, which looks pretty accurate. You can see his alternate face right there. He is the same as the Whomping Willow, though. I like his other face, this one most, because it looks like his typical Snape look. The rest of the figure is also pretty great. I'm pretty, much, I'm pretty sure he like wears this for like every single episode of Harry Potter. The next minifigure figure is Hermione, which is the same as the one from Wampin' Wall set, and um, the Great Hall, which, so she isn't too common. Um, but I like her hair piece, which is probably the best part. But uh, either way, that's it for all the minifigures. Now let's take a look at the build of the set, which is a pretty cool build. I like it a lot. Let's see what it is there. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at the middle section first. So I'll zoom that in. And yeah, you, you can get Mark's foot right here. I don't want to get it to hold the broom because the broom 
break so easily. But you can shoot the, the quaffle through the ring to start the game. And then, yeah, they do have an extra one in the chest, which we'll take a look at that later. You see it right there. And if you look closely earlier, there was like, whoa, well, was that a clear piece? Because that actually gives Harry the ability to like, act like he's in the air or such. And then you just move this back right here to make it seem pretty cool. And if you want to look at look at it from this side, so I'm going to move the side builds. You can see it right there. You see this little technic part right back there? You can move them side to side. You can move them forward though. It's pretty cool. is isn't really that obvious. And then, yeah, I like how they use the green technic pins, which is really nice. You can see there's a stud shooter, which if you fire it, it shoots out the stud, which I believe is the bludger, which is just a black stud. And then, yeah. Now these rings are the same one. I don't like about it is that these fall off very easily because they're pretty simple. And yeah, they're not, they're not really that much of a height. This, but now let's move on to the towers of the set. Which the first tower is the Gryffindor Tower. Probably the best out of all of them, just because of the new play feature to bring someone in. Sorry guys, I had a brain fart. And then you can just switch, switch him in from using his boom right there, which is just on a little technic hinge, a technic pin, sorry. And then you can put her money. You can pop, you can stand her, she's the only main figure you can stand. Main figure with short legs, yes, you can stand. So yeah, it's hard to do that. Yeah, it's a bit annoying that you can only sit the minifigures, which is, you can only sit the minifigures like with the big, with the normal minifigure legs and the mid legs. You can only stand the minifigures with short legs. So yeah, speaking of Snape, you can actually, you can put him inside, but you have to sit him in, which is a bit hard too. And I really like the toy feature for this tally. It's pretty much the same as the Queen Power one. Except one thing, if you look at this thing here at the back, this gear piece, when you lift it up, so I'm going to lift it up now, it actually reveals a fire where Hermione casts a spell to make Snape catch on fire. That's a really nice play feature, but other than that, the tower is pretty much the same as the rainbow glow on, even down to the plant right here, which, yeah, that's okay. But now we're going to move on to the, the last two towers which are connected to the Quidditch area where they play the game. I don't know what to call it. We'll start off with Hufflepuff's tower. Probably the second best one. You can see right back up here that actually has these, these parts which is depends who goes against who. So this one says Hufflepuff. And the, the other one says Ravenclaw right here and if you look forward you, you can if you look here you actually have a Gryffindor and a Slytherin one you can put all four of that in there and you can see like what this is so incomplete the last piece but there's actually a play feature where you can put these pieces right here which depends who, how many points you get and you just stick them down there which is a really nice and play feature that you can do probably my second favorite tower and you can see the bludger thing is right there which is just on a normal stud shooter and just goes on a jumper but uh, yeah moving on to the ravenclaw tower i wish it had the announcer kid because it has this like horn but yeah the rest of the build is the same even down to the back of the set now there's a side build which is a chest which has extra material for the game and then the other one is just a trophy and a gold trophy this time. But it isn't the same as the one from the other 2010 set, which is in a gold gold, which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah. Either way, what do I think of this set overall? I really like it actually. Like I wasn't expecting to like it that much because like, oh, all the towers are the same. They're so repetitive. But when I looked at it, I was like, whoa, I love this Gryffindor, the, the tower feature. And I really like that. Also the feature where you can move Harry, that's really nice. It's a nice way to hide them as well. The figures, well, they aren't the best. I still like them though. I also like the way how you can get Snape without getting that expensive Whopping Willow set. It's really nice. 
I also like the way you can get some exclusive characters like Mark Swint, Lucian Bolt. But yeah, a lot of these figures are reprints of comic pieces. So overall, I'll rate the set a B plus. It's still a really great set for my rating list. Either way, that's it for now, and I'll see you guys later.